This is the second part of ISRO VSSC technique class in previous year question paper with a detailed solution. The exam held in 2021. Up to question number 20, we discussed in the first part. Here, question number 21. The average power delivered by a 1000 volt ampere transformer to a pure inductive load of 500 volt ampere is answer is option D 0 watt. We know that for a pure inductor the average power is given by P average equal to VRMS into IRMS into cos phi. Here VRMS and IRMS are root mean square voltage and current respectively that is AC voltage and current and phi is the phase difference between input and output supply hence the phase difference between the input and output current will be pi by 2 that is if we apply cos pi by 2 which is equal to 0 so that p average equal to 0 we will get question number 22 the voltage waveform in the figure q is applied across an ideal inductor what is the resulting current waveform we know that inductors is a coil of wire that are wound around any ferromagnetic material that is iron covered or wound around a hollow tube that increase their inductive value are called inductors. The inductance L is measured in Henry and the instantaneous voltage in volts. Rate of instantaneous voltage is given by V equal to L di by dt. Here, by integrating the voltage, we will get the current. The voltage is a rectangular function, hence the current will be a ramp function. So, choose the uh, option A as the correct answer. Question number 23. The quality factor Q in a serious resonance circuit with a resonant frequency 1000 Hz and half power points at 950 Hz and 1050 Hz is. Answer is option B, 10. Given half power points are 950 Hz and 1050 Hz. Therefore, bandwidth equal to 1050 minus 950, which is equal to 100 Hz. Uh, this here, the bandwidth is represented in Hz unit. So, bandwidth in radian equal to bandwidth equal to 2 pi into uh, bandwidth. The relation between quality factor and bandwidth is Q equal to uh, W naught by bandwidth. We know omega uh, W naught equal to 2 pi F naught, uh, where F naught is the resonant frequency which is equal to 1000 Hz. Uh. Therefore, W naught equal to 2 pi 1000 radians. Substitute the equation 193 in 2, we get Q equal to 10. Question number 24. In the two port network shown in below, if V1 and V2 are expressed in terms of I1 and I2, using the expression V1 equal to Z11 I1 plus, Z1 to I2 and V2 equal to Z21 I1 plus Z2 to I2. Then Z11 and Z2 to R called. Option A, open circuit impedance. Z parameters. Z parameters are also known as open circuit impedance parameters as they are calculated under open circuit conditions. That is at I1 equal to 0 and I2 equal to 0. In the matrix from uh, represented at, as V1, V2 equal to Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22, I1, I2. V1 equal to Z11, I1 plus Z12, I2. V2 equal to Z21, I1 plus Z22, I2. With the input open circuit, that is I1 equal to 0. The two parameters are Z12 equal to V1 by I2 at I1 equal to 0 and Z22 equal to V2 by I2 at I1 equal to 0. With the uh, output open uh, circuit, that is I2 equal to 0. The two parameters are Z11 equal to V1 by I1 at I2 equal to 0 and Z21 equal to V2 by I1, that is I2 equal to 0. Question number 25. Laplace transform of the function f of t denoted by f of s is given by option c integral 0 to infinity f of t e raised to minus st dt. This is a standard form. The function denoted by the waveform given below is an even function. Option a is the correct answer. If x of t is an even function then x of t equal to x of minus t. If x of t is an odd function then x of t equal to minus of x of minus t. From the given graph we can see that f of t equal to f of minus t and the graph is symmetrical with respect to t axis. Hence it is an even function. Question number 27. Two coils having inductance uh, 0.2 Henry and 2.45 Henry 
are coupled and their mutual inductance is 0.14 henry the coefficient of coupling is answer option b 0.2 the coefficient of coupling k between two coil is defined as the fraction of magnetic flux produced by the current in one coil that links to the other two coils having self inductance l1 and l2 then mutual inductance m between them uh, then coefficient of coupling k is given by k equal to m divided by root of l1 l2 here uh, in the question uh, they are given l1 equal to 0.2 henry l2 equal to 2.45 henry m equal to 0.14 henry we know coefficient of coupling k equal to m divided by root of l1 l2 substitute the values of m l1 and l2 we get coefficient of coupling as 0.2 Twisting of live and return lines in long signal line is done to reduce the effect of option B magnetic field coupling. Wire of conductors used in power system for transmitting power by means of the electric current signal. The flow of current generates an electromagnetic field of interference around the wire that creates noise that can impact signals being transmitted through the surrounding wire and the cable. In order to uh, electromagnetic interference, the wire is twisted together to create a cancelling effect. By uh, twisting wires that carry an equal and opposite amount of current through them, the interference or noise produced by one wire is effectively cancelled by the interference or noise produced by the other. A twisted pair also improves the rejection of external electromagnetic interference from other equipment. Twisted pairs can be shielded or unshielded depending on the intended application. Consider a cable with two wires, non-twisted. One end is connected to the source and the other end is connected to the load. So they are part of a closed circuit. Look at the figure. If the pair of wire is twisted, the EMF and induced EMF change direction with each twist of the wire and the overall noise is cancelled. Question number 29. Device which is not used for lightning protection function is option D for right beads. Lightning arrester is the device used to protect the structure from the damaging effect of lightning. Tresops are used in aircraft for protection against lightning. Metal oxide varistors are used for protecting low voltage appliances. And gas discharge tubes are used for protection against high surge currents. And the uh, last one, ferrite beads are used to improve power quality in PCBs and not used for the protection against surges and lightning. Question number 30. The property of a measuring instrument to give the output very close to the actual value is termed as accuracy. It is a closeness with which an instrument reading approaches the true value of the quantity being measured. It means conformity to truth. Question number 31. The function f of t has a Fourier transform f of omega. The Fourier transform of f of t is uh, option c 2 pi f of minus omega. Duality property of Fourier transform. If x of omega w is the Fourier transform of x of t, then x of t equal to 2 pi x of minus w. Question number 32. The output of a linear time invariant system can be obtained from its unit impulse function and the input function by option A convolution. Discrete time system. The convolution of two signal with a system with the impulse response H of n is represented as Y of n equal to X of n convolution H of n. Continuous time signal not signal system. The convolution of two signal with a system with a Impulse response H of t is represented as y of t equal to x of t convolution H of t. Consider question number 33. The trigonometric Fourier series of an even periodic function of time does not have. Answer is option C sign terms. Uh, consider this table. Symmetry condition and Fourier series. Even uh, even symmetry condition is f of t equal to f of minus t. For your series, the dc and cosine terms can present. Odd, uh, condi uh, odd symmetry condition is f of t equal to minus f of minus t. Uh, sine terms can present. Half wave symmetry, f of t plus or minus t by 
ടു ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് എഫ് ഓഫ് ടി ഓഡ് ഹാർമോണിക്സ് എഫ് ഓഫ് ടി പ്ലസ് ഓർ മൈനസ് ടി ബൈ ടു ഈക്വൽ ടു എഫ് ഓഫ് ടി ഈവൻ ഹാർമോണിക്സ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ നമ്പർ തേർട്ടി ഫോർ ദ സെറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഓഫ് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് റിയൽ എക്സ്പോണൻഷ്യൽ സീക്വൻസ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു എ റേസ് ടു എൻ എൻ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സീറോ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ എൻ ലെസ് ദാൻ സീറോ ആൻഡ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സീറോ ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ബൈ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി വൺ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ വൺ മൈനസ് എ സെറ്റ് ഇൻവേ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മോഡ് സെറ്റ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ എ ദ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ഓഫ് സെറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഈസ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സം ഓഫ് എൻ ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി വിച്ച് ഇസ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ സെറ്റ് റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് എൻ ഗിവൺ എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു എ റേസ് ടു എൻ യു ഓഫ് എൻ ദ സെറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഓഫ് ദ ഗിവൺ സിഗ്നൽ ഇസ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിഗ്മ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ സെറ്റ് റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് എൻ സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ ഹിയർ വി നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് യൂണിറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ദർ ഫോർ ദ ലിമിറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഫ്രം സീറോ ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സിഗ്മ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി എ റേസ് ടു എൻ സെഡ് റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് എൻ ടേക്ക് ദ എൻ ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് സിഗ്മ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി എ സെഡ് റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് വൺ ഹോൾ റേസ് ടു എൻ വി ആഫ്റ്റർ സോൾവിംഗ് വി ഗെറ്റ് വൺ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ വൺ മൈനസ് എ സെഡ് റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് വൺ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സെഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സെഡ് മൈനസ് എ ദ റീജൻ ഓഫ് കൺവെർജൻസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മോഡ് സെഡ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ മോഡ് എ If the set transform of x of n equal to minus a raised to n, u of minus n minus 1 is, the answer is uh, same, but the region of convergence will change, which is equal to 1 by 1 minus a set raised to minus 1, which is equal to set divided by set minus a, region of convergence equal to mode set less than mode a. Consider question 35. The condition for achieving distortionless demodulation of amplitude modulated signal using an envelope detector is answer is option B modulation index less than 1 over modulation results in sharp edges or bends in the waveform of the envelope of the transmitted signal regardless of the audio frequency it results in false emissions by the modulated carrier and distortion of the recovered modulating signal For mu greater than 1, the AM wave is said to be over-modulated. For mu less than 1, the AM wave is said to be under-modulated and distortionless demodulation is achieved using envelope detector. For uh, mu equal to 1, the AM wave is said to be critically modulated. Question number 36. What is the minimum period of the discrete sequence? e raised to j 2 pi n by 4 plus e raised to j 2 pi n by 6 answer is option c 12 the fundamental period the sm- is the smallest possible value of a period is called the fundamental period of a given sequence here let x of n equal to e raised to j ohm n then fundamental period of n of x of n is n equal to 2 pi by ohm into k where k is an integer given x of n equal to e raised to j 2 pi n by 4 plus e raised to j 2 pi n by 6 the period for e raised to j 2 pi n by 4 is n1 equal to substitute this uh, values in the standard fundamental period equation 2 pi by ohm here ohm equal to 2 pi by 4 uh we we get n1 equal to 4 similarly then time period for e raised to j 2 pi n by 6 is n2 equal to 2 pi by ohm here ohm is 2 pi by 6 we get n2 equal to 6 to find the overall period for uh, x of n n equal to lcm of n1 comma n2 here lcm of 4 comma 6 we get 12 question number 37 directivity of an isotropic antenna answer is option b1 answer we can uh, discuss briefly directivity is the ratio of the radiation intensity in a given direction from an antenna to the radiation intensity averaged over all directions the gain of an antenna takes uh, the directivity into account isotropic antenna radiates in all direction look at the figure gain equal to uh, eta e d where eta e d e equal to antenna efficiency and d is the directivity of antenna hence the directivity of an isotropic antenna is 1 question number 
in object oriented programming what is the relation of an object to a class answer is option d object is an instance of a class we all know that object oriented programming is an approach to designing modular reusable software systems the object oriented approach is an evolution of good design practices that go back to the very beginning of computer programming object orientation is simply a logical extension of older technique such as uh, structured programming and abstract data types the object of object oriented programming are classes are regard, regarded as types for instance instance cannot change their uh, type at a run time the list of classes is fully known at a compile time and uh, cannot change after that compilers are used at a build time uh, compile time errors indicate problems classes encode much of their meaning and behavior through imperative functions and methods instances are anonymous in so far that they cannot easily be addressed from outside of an executing program question number 39 which of the following statement is false option d a system which gives zero output for zero input is always a linear system is the false statement explanation bebo stability to test the stability of a system if we apply bounded input output is also bounded then it is stable system therefore option a is correct causal system output of a system depends only on past or present input sample spelling is mistake actually there uh, then it is a causal system option b is correct impulse response if we apply impulse at input then the response is known as impulse response the impulse response is, uh, is finite duration then it is known as finite impulse response the impulse response is in infinite duration then it is known as infinite impulse response iir therefore option c is also correct linear system a system that obeys superposition theorem is called a linear system consider an example a linear system y of n equal to a x of n for zero input output is also zero a lean a non linear system y of n equal to a x square n for a zero input output is also zero here for zero input output is zero then it can be linear on or non linear system that is option d is false the last question of this video is 40 in a discrete linear invariant system the input sequence length is l the impulse response sequence length is m the output sequence length is n answer is option a n equal to l plus m minus 1 if two discrete signals having the length l and m respectively then the resultant output signal has the length as n equal to l plus m minus Minus one. Sorry, not. It is not plus. It is minus one. Thank you.